and happy Sunday. It is now Sunday evening. I uploaded a video today of the spring home tour. For some reason, it was kind of muffled, so I deleted it and decided to go ahead and do um, the home tour right now in real time. And so it's a little after seven o'clock. I'll try to get this video out early in the morning but just wanted to show you guys what we've changed up since the last video which was around four months ago um, my style is traditional but i have kind of moved away from that i will always love traditional um, i'm leaning more towards uh, modern which in the last couple of videos i've incorporated some modern uh, pieces and um I think now I'm leaning more, I guess, of what you would call organic modern, you know, so let me go ahead and show you guys around. So starting in the entryway is this marble uh, table and on top I do have a candle that I did pick up uh, from Target uh, this morning so you'll see that in this video. These two vintage pieces, this African wooden bowl and this beautiful vase is from Centered uh, Style. And this is the slipcover chair from Restoration Hardware that I did have in my office. I put it here in the entry. So this is what this is looking like here. Okay, moving on to the dining area. Uh, nothing's really changed in here. Uh, the table is the same. The chairs are the same. All of my white furniture is from Restoration Hardware. This beautiful pot is from Pottery Barn. And then we have this beautiful Amelie mirror from Our House. Now, um, this artwork here is something that I DIY'd. Uh, it was something that I bought about four years ago, and um, I believe it was a picture of a bull originally on it. I decided to take it and just, uh, you know, take some acrylics and create something that would kind of, you know, look really nice with the home. Moving on to the living room sitting area, I decided to remove the TV completely out and we just changed up the layout of the living room. If you guys remember, the sofa was facing the wall where the French cabinet is and I decided to put it in front of the window because it is the focal point of the room and um, I recently purchased this 82 and a half um, lounge chaser. I think it is really pretty. I recently added these um, two linen washed uh, pillows. If you guys like, uh, follow me on Instagram. I do post a lot of real time um, things there and also product tags where you can purchase things from and you know stuff like that I would greatly appreciate it and so um, now the the chase lounge is from Jennifer Taylor at home and you guys remember this wool rug from the last video still have that and the uh, Chinese rice pot is uh, restoration hardware and the tree olive tree which i've had maybe three years now is from crate and barrel so this is what the living room is looking like right now i really like it this way i think it makes the living room look bigger that throw i think i bought it like two years ago maybe from target part of the hearth and hand uh, collection
And again, just some vintage pieces there from Centered, <clears throat> excuse me guys, from Centered Style. And then that white bowl is Restoration Hardware, that bust CB2, and then also that white vase at the bottom. Now this basket is from Pottery Born, as well as the picture frame I just took um, a photo from uh, a book that I had and put it there so that's all I did oh guys let me show you this beautiful book here that I recently uh, got by um, Colin King I waited for this book for months it's been in my Amazon cart for like four months because the release date was on the 14th. I just think the cover of this book is absolutely beautiful. Again, here's an overview. Guys, and if it seems like I'm breathing a little heavy, I'm a little nervous. I always get so nervous uh, doing this because, I don't know, sometimes I feel like, I, I, I don't know, but I'm, I'm really trying, so just bear with me. And if you have any questions or anything like that, or if you are one wanting to know where something is from, just leave a comment down below and I will certainly respond back. This is what I have been wanting to show you guys are these two beautiful swivel boucle chairs that are to me the exact dupe to the CBT, CBT, CB2 uh, chairs. They are the exact measurements of CB2. And um, yeah, so let's go check them out. I waited on these for about two months when I first ordered them back in January. I believe it was January 4th. And um, it took almost two months for me to get them. And I think right now they are currently on back order six to eight um, months but let me give you a close-up view and guys if you like this uh, sweater here this is the alpaca sweater that I picked up from Banana Republic during their friends and family I don't know if it's still going on but uh, check it out I love this sweater it's still a little chilly here in Texas but here are the chairs Oh, sorry about that. And then you guys are familiar with this Leanne Ford uh, Willie table. Now this little cutie here, this wood stool, I picked it up online from Michaels. Now they do have several stores that you can get this from. Um, I think uh, Amazon and a couple of other stores I think right now on the Michaels website it's 180 um, I can't remember if you are allowed to use a coupon on it but um, if you guys are interested it is uh, from Michaels and this vintage bowl here is from Etsy I love this little bowl I just love it so much and last but not least is the home gym that i am working on if you have been following me or subscribed uh, to the channel uh, or even following me on instagram you know that this room is the room in the house that changes the most it was a guest bedroom at least twice my home office <clears throat> excuse me and um, now a uh, home gym um, and I am still working on it and right here in the corner just have oh my god my daughter must have came down and got my weights so guys you can pick this Bancon bike up from Amazon it is Bluetooth or directly from the Bancon uh, website and you can also connect it uh, to different apps um, from your phone or iPad. 
The mirror is from Amazon. I think it was a great price point. I think it was like $124. Uh, little cute basket. I just have some uh, workout face towels in case you, you know, sweat or anything like that. If the girls or my husband in here working out, they can just grab a towel. I keep my water bottle in here and just fill it up and wash it out and you know just sit it back again the samsung frame you guys see glow with joe i just really love her and again another chair from restoration hardware also this waxed concrete console now this was originally in the foyer area but i put it in here because right now it just works in here and then this little tissue box is from Saks Fifth Avenue. Um, if you guys are wanting, you know, some of the items. If you guys have any suggestions on a um, treadmill, something that is easy to move around, uh, to fold up and put back uh, because I don't like having a lot of stuff out all at once. Uh, leave it down in the comments. I would appreciate it. It is chilly out here today. Okay, let's head on in to Target. We're going down. They already have out all these beautiful, colorful swimsuits. We are headed to the produce section, uh, wanting to pick up a few uh, fruits and maybe uh, vegetables so we're gonna start off at the strawberries now I'm not sure if I should get the smaller strawberries or just get the big one for $5.79 the two pound I think I better go with the two pounds Blueberries and raspberries. <clears throat> uh, we got some for the two seventy nine, three forty nine. Normally we do um, organic, uh, but I'm gonna stay on the budget this week, so I'm just gonna pick up, uh, you know, the regular. Okay, headed to get some bananas. Now, we, I do normally buy the organic uh, bananas. They're $169. But I think today, I wanna stay on budget. So I'm gonna go with the 25 cents a pound. Or is that each? I really don't eat eggs, but I just wanted to show you guys what the prices of the different eggs are here in Target. And then we have some of the spinach. I normally get the organic uh, spring mix. What's your favorite crema to put in your coffee? Normally I go with the dairy free, 
but the only thing is as I mentioned in one of my last videos is that it still have added sugars do anybody have any suggestions for me uh, a creamer that I can put in my coffee that's dairy free and to slightly make it a little sweet without any um, added sugars I need to pick up some more soap. What is your favorite uh, soap to use? We normally use Dove in the house, and then lately I've been loving the uh, A soap, AO soap. Not sure how to pronounce it. Um, which kind you want to get? You want to get this one right here? The Restoring Coconut, which this is the one that we normally buy. What's your favorite paper towels? I normally get the Viva Signature Cloth because I like how thick and towel-like they feel. Uh, let me down and let me know down in the comments below what's your favorite uh, paper towels, or do you even still use them? Yeah, so it's like 10:40 in the morning, but I just kind of want to run through a few things to show you what they have out for spring. I'm kind of liking this linen-like white dress, and then they also have these beautiful colorful uh, maxi dresses even though they're not my style but I do love a white uh, top I think that one is really pretty and then they also have this blue and white uh, stripe and again all these beautiful um, swimsuits if you guys are going on vacation Target seems like the place to come to get you all set up and ready to go here are some cute little uh, tanks in all different colors. I may have to come back when I have more time. You know, the husband can get a little impatient. And then they have these cute uh, jean shorts here. check out this cute little white set if any of you guys are interested I thought this was really cute hey so we have landed in the home section as you can see here the threshold studio McGee just want to give you guys a little glimpse of what they have I do love these beautiful white candles I may pick me up one uh, today and I think this little green chair is so cute. Have this cute little floor lamp. Cute baskets. Oh, look at these. These are really pretty. over here now this is beautiful and this is also threshold I really like these baskets and these lamps too bad it's not um, anything that I need from my house look at this look at these vases now I have seen a lot of home uh, decor videos and I think a lot of people are looking for these now uh, this is humble uh, Texas if any guy anybody lives out here that are looking for those I mean, they have a lot in stock look at this this is really cute look how big these baskets are you guys can definitely uh, do a lot of different things for spring summer with these and I do like this I don't know. Should I get this? We have landed in the hearth and hand with Magnolia. This is some of their items that they have out for spring. Very cute. Got to look at those baskets. Look at that, guys. 
Now this is pretty. This is my kind of stuff right there. Look how beautiful these towels are. Is that their new book? I think so. I showed you guys this, but look at this. This is really cute. I have been looking for this stuff right here called Versed. It's a press restart gentle retinol body lotion. I was watching a black dermatologist by the name of Alexis Stevens on YouTube. I think she is fabulous. So I'm going to go ahead and get it and try it out and see how it works. If any of you guys have tried and used this, let me know and uh, comment below.